Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim Crosby. Guys, I'm continuing from the last video, so if some of you didn't see it, please go back so it gets you into the story of what we're talking today. Last video I talked about institutional neglect and the causes that can create in your life because as the child, when you're perceiving the world, you're going into your own child mind and trying to figure out what's going on in the trauma and trying to understand what you're perceiving out there. Now, institutional neglect, it really creates a lot of issues in our minds and in our emotions because we're not getting what we need. We're not getting the connection. We're not getting the emotions that we're looking for to really build our st stable personality. So I'm going to show you what I do with my clients, but you can do this at home while you do meditation. So I started here and we're continuing with the last case study. So while you're meditating, and I put a little stick man, we were talking about that you can extend your awareness uh, into a memory or through a past life. And when you're feeling that memory, a lot of sentences are coming through your, your mind as you're experiencing that memory. That's why I tell a lot of people, please write it down, journal what you're writing, because eventually you will see a pattern and that's the key here. So while you're meditating, these are a few of the sentences I saw from the last video we talked about. The person said, I'm lonely, I'm cast away, you know, I'm sad, I have no choice. And that was the last word we got. I felt like the person was collapsing from the lack of love and the neglect they were feeling and they felt like they had no choice and they collapsed. Now, when I get the last sentence after I'm asking all these sentences and they say, how do you feel? And they really say, I have no choice. It's in the tone almost. That's where I extend the awareness, which we talked about in the last video. And when you extend it, you go to the memory. And this is the part that is really important because energy has no boundaries. When you want to go and understand more about a perception, even if it's in your past or in a past life, you're going to be able to get more information because we live in an ocean of information. So when you extend it to a memory, and I put a box to show you, this person went to a memory where the, the mother was there and the father and also the doctors, okay? And he's wondering, why are they casting me away? Why am I not accepted? Why won't they love me? He's going into that memory with all those thoughts and those questions he's having. So when you go there, because energy has no boundaries, you can go, this is the little you or the little self of this person I'm talking about, and they can extend their, again, their awareness to feel what the others in the room during that memory at that time to get more information about what's going on because he only perceived it as a child and made an interpretation and took that as a truth. So when he's going there, I ask, okay, go into the person, go into your mom and feel. Feel is easier because your mind tends to create all kinds of sentences. So you go into the mom and he feels his mother in this memory. And as he's feeling, he says, oh, she has no choice. She doesn't know what to do. You know, I'm really sick and she feels bad. She has to, you know, leave me here. There's no other way. There's no other way in the, in the society at that time. So he's getting all this feedback from the mom he's feeling at that time. And as he's, and I ask him, does mom love you? And then he feels, he goes, yeah, she does. I said, well, there you go. You're not cast away because you weren't loved or you weren't accepted. You were cast away because you were sick. You just didn't understand. And you thought they must not love me. No one's taking care of me. And that starts changing this because he's getting a new perception of what's going on. Okay. So when you're going into the memory, there's no limits again. So we go into the doctor because he really saw the doctors as sort of like the abusers. They're hurting me and they're not really careful and I must not count for them. I don't feel like a human being here. I, you know, we, we had a lot of sentences coming out when we were doing the session. So I say, well, go into the doctor and feel the doctor. And he goes and he goes, oh, the doctor is doing the best he can. This is, this is how we treat children. They didn't have enough information about the psychological aspects of us. So he really gets the, a different memory to get feedback, to get more information from the people that he could not yet ask those questions at that time. So when you get that feedback, you change your perception. 
That loneliness, that feeling I wasn't loved, it's not the same. It doesn't mean that the loneliness goes away right away because you've been doing this for many, 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 many years or even many lives trying to understand your thoughts around loneliness. But in this case, it lessens it because he goes, well, wait a minute, they do love me. Maybe they didn't handle it the way, a better way, or maybe they didn't know how to handle it. So therefore, it has nothing to do with my identity that I was cast away. I was rejected. No, sometimes it's the circumstances of a situation, but when you're young, unfortunately, till the age of, you know, five, six, seven, eight, you're a lot in your theta wave and brain wave, and you're taking all that information as truth, and you're banking that in yourself. Well, unfortunately, that can cause more trauma because you don't get enough feedback or the adults or the people that are around you are not explaining in a way that you're understanding. So therefore, you have to make your own interpretations of what's going on. But when you do meditation and you start going deeper and you know the questioning you need to do, you can extend your awareness anywhere, people anywhere. There's no limit to where you can extend it. People who do, re do remote viewing, they're extending their awareness. So as you start extending your awareness and you go into these memories and you go feel the people in the memory, it can really give you a change of perception. And that starts the healing. That changes the wording and that confuses the head. And that's what you want. Because when you confuse, you're rewiring in this moment. You know, dad did love me and mom did love me. They didn't know what to do at the time. And then the loneliness slowly starts to dissipate, it starts to have a new thinking structure because you got the feedback. And this is really healing. So when you're in meditation, we really underestimate meditation because we think it's just relaxation and clear your mind. No, you're going into an altered state of consciousness, which means there's no limits. You can go look, you can discover more about yourself. You get it, guys? So if you got questions, you got suggestions or comments, please write them down. I love reading them. Please subscribe, click on the bell, and I see you next week. I look forward to it. Keep doing well.